William James had problems, really bad problems. All the born into a wealthy family, James suffered from life-threatening health issues throughout his childhood and young age. He didn't have many friends, he sucked at school and everybody around him thought of him as a big loser. He passed most of his time painting and that was the only thing which he liked. Unfortunately, nobody else thought he was good at it. His father was a wealthy businessman, a guy who had earned great respect in his society. His younger brother, Henry James, went on to become a world-renowned novelist. His sister, Alice James, made a good living as a writer as well. William was the family oddball, the black sheep. In a desperate attempt to salvage the young man's future, James' father used his business connections to get him admitted into Harvard Medical School. It was his last chance. His father told him, if he screwed up, there was no hope for him. But Madison never appealed to James. He spent the whole time feeling like a fake and a fraud. Soon he dropped out of medical school nearly at the age of 30 with no qualification and skill in his hands. A man with no respect and honor in his life. His father hated him and thought of him as a disappointment to his family. Despite all the advantages and opportunities he had been given in life, everything had fallen apart. The only constants in his life seemed to be suffering and disappointment. James fell into a deep depression and began making plans to take his own life. It was evident that now that very soon he will take his life by his own hands and save himself from this constant misery and suffering which he had encountered all his life. Nothing could save him and nobody could provide solution to his problems. There was no light for him in this world whatsoever. But then one day something happened. While reading lectures by the philosopher Charles Pierce, a thought came across his mind. James decided to conduct a little experiment. In his diary he wrote that he would spend one year believing that he was 100% responsible for everything that occurred in his life, no matter what. During this period, he would do everything in his power to change his circumstances no matter the likelihood of failure. If nothing improved in that year, it would be apparent that he was truly powerless to the circumstances around him and that he would take his own life. The simple decision by William James changed his life forever. James went on to become the father of American psychology. His work has been translated into Brazilian languages and he's regarded as one of the most influential intellectuals, philosophers and psychologists of his generation. He was the first one to introduce the idea of stream of consciousness, the theory of emotion and the first person to teach a psychology course in the US. James would later refer to his little experiment as his rebirth and would credit it with everything that he later accomplished in his life. The life of William James tells us one thing. This is the realization that we individually are responsible for everything in our lives, no matter the external circumstances. We don't always control what happens to us. But we always control how we interpret what happens to us as well as how we respond. Whether we like it or not, we are always taking an active role in what's occurring to and within us. Do subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to share your favorite quote from William James in the comment section.